Ten things you must do to be successful in business. Wayne Huizenga, an American businessman and entrepreneur, said, "Some people dream of success, while other people get up every morning and make it happen. To be successful, you need to work hard at it. No one becomes successful by simply wishing it. No, it doesn't work that way." Eric Thomas said, "When you want to be successful as bad as you want to breathe." then you'll be successful. To succeed in business, however, you need more than just a good business idea. There are a bunch of other things you need to do to become successful. Well, guess what? In this video, I'll share with you 10 things you must do to be successful in business. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Add value no matter the kind of business you are running and where you are running it from, you can't go wrong when you add value to people's lives. You're probably wondering what it means to add value. Well, let me tell you what value means. Value is anything that people are willing to pay for. Fabrizio Moriera, a New Ecuadorian politician and businessman, said, and I quote, Business is all about the customer, what the customer wants and what they get. Generally, Every customer wants a product or service that solves their problem, worth their money, and is delivered with amazing customer service. Business isn't about having the best ideas ever, because if those ideas aren't providing any value or help to your customers, then of what use are they? Thomas Edison, an American inventor, businessman, and the man who invented the electric bulb, once said, the value of an idea lies in the using of it. Also according to Mary Barr, CEO of General Motors, my definition of innovative is providing value to the customer. The more value you can offer to people, the more money you'll make and become successful. And the best way to offer value is to find the intersection between what people are willing to pay for and what service or product you can offer that is aligned with your goals, values, and strength. 2. Get a good mentor. A good number of people who have made it attribute their success to the help or guide of their mentor or group of mentors. John C. Maxwell, an American author and speaker, said, One of the greatest values of mentors is the ability to see ahead what others cannot see and to help them navigate a course to their destination. Mentors have gone through the road you want to journey, so they can guide you to get to your destination faster than having to do it alone. Do you know what? You can get different mentors for different areas of your life. It doesn't have to be just one mentor. For instance, if you want to be healthy, find a mentor who's already healthy. If you want to be rich, find someone who's already rich. And if you want to become a successful business person, then find a successful entrepreneur as a mentor. 3. Define your niche or marketplace Defining your target audience means targeting people who are just like you in a specific way, because it is only a targeted community that will seek you out. The masses will not. Kim Garst, an author and social media influencer, said, Focus on identifying your target audience, communicating an authentic message that they want and need, and project yourself as an expert within your niche. To define your target audience, you have to be very specific about their demographics. Be clear on things like their age, location, income, education, family status, occupation, ethnicity, values, interest, lifestyle, and the likes. This will help you engage with them better. 4. Become an expert in your field. For your audience to trust whatever you have to sell, you must present yourself as an expert in your field. Niels Bohr said, an expert is a man who has made all the mistakes which can be made in a narrow field. As an expert, having gone through all the hurdles of your field, you can advise and guide people to make some of the right decisions as far as your field is concerned, which is why they will trust you and easily purchase your products or services. 5. Analyze your competition Do you know that you can learn from your competitors? In the first place, they are your competitors because some people prefer their products over yours. So since they may be doing something right or better than you, you can learn from them and implement some of their strategies to make your business successful. 6. Understand the risk and rewards Building a successful business requires taking risks. To do this, however, 
you have to understand what the downside of the risks entail. Ask yourself, what's the worst case scenario can be? Doing this will help you prepare thoroughly and make wise choices that will help you become successful. 7. Learn Sales Chris Murray, the author of Selling with Ease, said, and the salesperson you'd like to encounter as a customer should roughly be the same. Shouldn't they? If you want to get the most out of your business, you have to learn the skills for effective selling. Sales means persuading someone of something. 8. Ask for feedback. In a business that wants to succeed should constantly strive to improve. One of the ways to achieve this is to ask for feedback. And you know what? Your business will benefit more from negative feedback than no feedback, which is why feedback is important. Also, asking for feedback allows your customers to feel important. We all want to think that our opinions matter. Well, your customers are no exception to this. So getting their feedback is more like getting free advice from the people that matter the most, your customers. 9. Keep Detailed Records Keeping detailed records will help you know where your business lies financially and what challenges you might face. Knowing this will help you plan and strategize better so that your business can grow and you'll become successful. 10. Be consistent. Dwayne Johnson, an American-Canadian actor, producer and former professional wrestler said, and I quote, Success isn't always about greatness. It's about consistency. Consistent hard work leads to success. Greatness will come. Also, according to Millard Drexler, people like consistency. Whether it's a store or a restaurant, they want to come in and see what you're famous for. To become successful in business, you have to keep doing what you know how to do every day. Doing this will help you create long-term positive habits, which will, in turn, help you make money to successfully run your business. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you would miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.